Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video on the Deck Music Channel. I hope you're having a great day today. And today we are reacting to the brand new Sisto EP called Devour. This is by far one of the most anticipated EPs that Sisto has released. Not to mention that this is a self-release. This is absurd. We have five tracks on here, two of which are collabs. We'll go ahead and run through this. Devour by Sisto, title track is number one. Dead Champions, which has already been out 18,000 plays. It's ridiculous. Mistake with Sisto and Phage is the third track. And then we have Heretic, also another single that was released. 15,000 plays and Phantom Symphony with Sisto and Pike. I am so unbelievably excited for this EP. Y'all have no idea. Oh my gosh. For those of you that don't know, Sisto has been my number one producer for the past two years, and I have not wavered at all. This this guy is the guy I will always go back to when I need something heavy because he delivers every single time. It's ridiculous. And I do also have to give a props to, to this guy, not only for just releasing insane music and pretty consistently. He gave this EP to me like three to four weeks early. Doesn't mean I got to it early, but thank you. Because that means a lot. Uh, I hope to actually get to some of these projects early if if people start sending me stuff early. I, I want to get to them early. It's just life, you know? But now we're here. This is the day after release, and we are re reviewing the Devour EP by Sisto. I am so unbelievably excited for this. Last thing before we get into this, I recently did a poll and asked you guys which discography breakdown video would you like to see next? And I gave you a list of five options and by a landslide, I believe 45% out of 100 votes, um, which is, by the way, absurd that 100 people voted on that. Sisto won at like 45%. So Sisto will be the next discography breakdown video and it's already being worked on. I already have it scripted. And the best part is I'm reviewing this at 12 11 p.m. and in about 50 minutes I'm actually interviewing Sisto before he leaves for I believe tour for about two weeks in Europe uh, I'm interviewing him for the discography breakdown so you will not want to miss that it's planned to go out this week I don't know if I'll be able to get to it but I will be doing my best to get it up to you all that video is gonna be absurd I'm telling you but without further ado let's check out the devour EP by Sisto track one devour Y'all have no idea how long I've been waiting for this project. Not Devour, but also just the EP and some other things that I know about that I can't even share. It is unbelievable. I am so pumped. And just from the preview alone of this vi of this EP, I think this might be some of his heaviest stuff that he's ever produced. I mean, what an intro, dude. This sounds really taken back. There's no low end here. I don't really know if I'm a huge fan of that, but that'll probably definitely grow on me. Man, I'm not ready. I, I've been waiting to get in the mood to listen to this. I don't think I'm ever gonna get in the mood to listen to this, like for the first listen, because I just don't know what to expect. I'm, I'm just, I can't, I'm gonna lose my mind. Hey, Swiss, I need. What is that? We haven't heard that. That's added. This is an ID, by the way. This is from volume two. But it sounds similar to what I know. That is gross. The tonality and how they're clashing with each other. Dude, I can't believe this is an ID. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, just stop it, please. We're two minutes into the EP, man. That is an ID from Conjuring of the Elixir Volume 2. That was completely changed. But the actual pre-drop, the first part of the pre-drop, it was part of the ID, but the rest of that was completely changed. I don't know if he's going to go back to the original idea that was released on Koti. Um, this one I'm calling it Volume 2. Might be the second drop here. I don't know. I love the way that he changed that ID. What is that distortion? I'm just gonna go ahead and save the whole EP, man. 
What is that switch? The actual the 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 effects chain on all of these things right now. I don't how just how there's no I'm literally just adding the whole thing right now. I don't freaking care. All right, that's Devour. Is this even gonna be a review? I don't know, man. I really don't know. That is disgusting. And the fact, I, now I see, now I wanna go listen to um, the original ID. Let me go find it. I can't, I can't find it. And I unfortunately don't have time to look for it. I know that's an ID though, because I've heard it. I know that's an ID and I know it's not the original kind of sound of it, but it's the same idea. The way that he changed that is unbelievable. Um, I'm just fascinated by that, not gonna lie. I don't have anything to say about that track. I think except for the fact where the bass just like in the intro, like when it just seemed so far away, there wasn't really anything. Um, I don't know. The sounds just just kind of meshed together. That's really the only thing I was kind of mad about. But like, I'm not like saying that's gross. You know, that entire song is just good. Let's let's move on. <laughs> Dead Champions. This is probably the song that I have wanted to listen to so badly. And by the way, I haven't listened to Heretic or Dead Champions, even though they've been out for a while as singles. I haven't listened to them because I knew that this was coming. So I wanted to save it all for now, which was hard to do, believe it or not, because Dead Champions was posted just everywhere and it's so good. So I'm really looking forward to this. I don't know if this is an ID either. I'll have to listen for the pre-drop. Yeah, this is an ID. Yeah. But I don't know where it's from, but I know it's an ID. I'm so glad he's releasing these IDs. Don't switch already. Oh my gosh, the flow, dude. That's so new. That's completely new. I really, I really need you to calm down, please. Second switch already, or second drop. I'm nervous. That first drop was so good, dude. <laughs> How? 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 No. We're, no. Stop. Stop. We're reloading that. The, the tone clashing between the two. It's like he has two leads happening and one is like a few cents under the other. You hear that? What do you do? What do you do? I can't. I can't. I cannot. I can't, dude. I can't. Let's just move on. Mistake with Fage. Fage, sorry. I I am I have goosebumps right now. I'm not kidding. I love that symbol for whatever reason. This is oh, this is another ID. Um I'm trying to think of what it is. Yes, thank you for releasing IDs, dude. Yeah, this is volume three, I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely an ID, and I think it's volume three. Because I know it. I almost threw my shoulder out of its socket. That, no, that glitch. That switch is gross. Three completely different flows here. You had the first one and then the switch had two different man and also i've been learning music recently or at least you know starting to 
I am understanding how those glitch fills work. And the way that it's made is so cool, and I have so much respect for it. <laughs> Obviously, I'm sure there's gonna be variety in that, but I know one way to make it, and it sounds very similar. It went out and came back in. And now the eighth note flow. <laughs> uh, uh. I, li I straight up have goosebumps. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. I, I straight up have goosebumps. That's freaking... Ugh. All right, heretic. Let's just let's just go through this. I don't I don't even care anymore. Like, I just. Mm. I'm losing my mind. All right, this was the first single that was released um, under Devour. So, but I, I again, I haven't heard it. And this doesn't sound like an ID. Uh, an ID. Sorry. No, I don't think it is. Oh. Unless if he changed it so drastically, but I don't remember that pre-drop. I love that jumpy lead. It's so it's so weird how Sisto does his stuff. It's like everything sounds so jumpy and responsive. It's, it's just his sound design just sounds so alive. Dag. Stop. Can you stop? I love the tone right now. Like, obviously, it sounds gross, but at the same time, it sounds clean in a way. What is that outro? Oh, oh. Uh, this EP, just from these four tracks, is um, probably the best EP I want to say he's ever released. And, like, obviously, there's going to be some standalones that I just absolutely adore. Um, Pawn's Corpse, for example. Um, I, I know I haven't actually listened to it. I am going to re soon for the breakdown uh, and just to even listen to his older stuff. But I've heard that EP on Disciple Roundtable is amazing. Fool's Gambit, Shatter Shattered Crown in particular is like my favorite song of all time from his. Until recently, like, you know, it, uh, there, there are some other ones that just I really liked. Uh, it Followed Me Home is another good one. And but this EP just in totality is is by far his best work. I, I like that he's releasing IDs, but he's releasing new ones too. I'm I'm extremely happy about that. I hope there's more coming though, because in my breakdown you'll see my favorite IDs, which I don't think is on here. And I really, I really need one of them at least. I really want two, but at least one of them. About Heretic in particular, I think I said it in the song, but it sounds it's gross in a way. Obviously, it's Sisto sound design, but it just sounds clean in a way. It doesn't sound um, as deep or as distorted. And in a way, I kind of like that because it's a little, it's, it just sounds different, but it still has the Sisto sound design. And, and that's something that I appreciate. So Phantom Symphony. And now we're back to distortion. This is with Pike, by the way. I will say, I'm glad these two collabed. However, I am not a fan of Pike. From the things that I've listened to Pike, I've not really been impressed. So I'm hoping that this will turn it around. But I'm also not sure if Sisto carried on this tune. This is also a new one. This is not an ID. God, I'm so out of it right now. Yeah, I hear both, actually. Like, even though I don't know Pike sound design, I can hear both in the sense that not a 100% of Sisto's here. It's got much more of, like, a rhythm lead to it because this is acting more as rhythm, which I guess all of this kind of is in a way. It's very different. This one is much more sticking to rhythm sound, I, I think. Rhythm Tarot is kind of where Sisto falls in between. I don't know, he's, he's, like, both at the same time, but this one I feel like is sticking way more to the rhythm side. Um, just from the sounds and how it's acting. The first drop is all right. Like, I don't, I don't know if I'm like super crazy about this one though, but it's like still good.
really wet stuff happening in the background. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I don't really know if I'm I'm fully in on this one. I really like the first four. This one was super quick though and super short. Um, and I feel like there wasn't a whole lot of variation, but like the execution for the most part um, and the sound design was pretty dope. Again, I just I, I just think Sisto as a as a solo kind of guy is just like the best work. And obviously him collabing with people is great. And I'm sure some people will like Phantom Symphony because of Pike. Uh, but for me, I, I I just thought that was a little less than than the last than the first four. So um, but overall, man check out this ep for real like this is sisto's best work um i would not be surprised if dead champions is it goes into like a number one spot for me on sisto's my favorite list for sisto uh that's just ridiculous but like all of these are so good mistake is amazing one that i've been waiting for for sure dead champions one that i've been waiting for for sure um those first three in particular are just ids and they're all amazing not the two that i really 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 want but those are amazing um so so well freaking done like oh my gosh and uh yeah <laughs> it's freaking ridiculous dude so this is this is definitely his best ep and his best work i i absolutely think so so thanks for watching go check out all of his stuff it'll be in the description Join the Discord, subscribe, like, y'all know what to do. This is Editor Deck here. Just to give you all something to be hype about, you all are not ready for this discography breakdown. I am being dead serious. You want to be there. And this interview that we did is producer gold. It's unbelievable. So be on the lookout for that video. My plan is to have it out on Wednesday. So that's what I'm going to go for, but I'm telling you, this video is going to be insane. And we're also dropping some links. I specifically at the end, um, it's, it's going to be amazing. So there you go. <laughs> My goodness. I'm going to have to take a leave of absence after that one.